the latest on January 30th around the wide world of Hypo Earth. Here's your Hypo Weather Bulletin. Well, a lot has happened since we were last on the air. There are now two tropical storms active, Julong in the Western Pacific and Chris in the South Pacific. Day 30 of the year so far, that's flown. 10 storms have formed so far. So some of those 10 you will have missed. So whilst we're looking at nothing in the other basins, let's tell you what happened. So Bailey formed and skirted the coast of Australia, eventually made a Category 1 landfall on the western part of the country. We also had a subtropical storm out in the uh, Indian Ocean. Uh, that one was, uh, I forget its name now actually. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, Brian uh, was a Category 1 at a high latitude. There's Geelong, by the way. And there's Chris. Uh, we also had a Category 4 off the east coast of Australia. Um, and I forget the name of that one as well, which passed to the east and then uh, very close for comfort for Australia as a Category 4, but stayed out to sea and then moved off towards the southeast. I can't believe I'm forgetting these names. 150 miles from Utupua in, I think that's Vanuatu, for this storm, Chris. This is expected to become a significant, well, system. Category 1 on the cards for this one. Over the next few days, likely to strike Queensland early next week. We're showing this one instead of Geelong because Geelong won't fit on the map that we've currently got for it. So here is the current satellite imagery for Chris. You can see it there moving away from some of those islands and uh, struggling at the moment. Uh, wind shear is slackening though so it will have more of a chance in the next few days even hours. Meanwhile, look what's bombing out in the Western Pacific right now. This is Geelong, and I must say it's looking fairly good. Wind shear is dropping. Uh, the forecast expectations of wind shear is also dropping. Sea surface temperatures are high. Not very high on those charts there. But on the forecast, we are calling for a Category 4 now. 130 mile per hour winds in the next four or five days. So this will be an early season significant storm. Must point out that very few systems at this time of year get to super typhoon status. There's a few, uh, but there are quite a few more intense storms that don't get to super typhoon status at this time of year, if you get what I mean there. Um, so this one certainly could get to minimal category four status. So Geelong is the first name in the Western Pacific. Go to the website force13.com. Uh, there is now a new Hypo Earth cyclone tracker where you can keep up to date with these systems in real time, which I think is stupendous. Chloe was the name of the storm that passed Australia as a category four. Uh, Cindy was a subtropical storm. And Chris is, of course, the current system in the Fiji region.